Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Kirill on You podcast. Today we have with us David Rock, known as D Rock. So, yes, D Rock, please introduce yourself how you want to be introduced. Listen, then, I'm, I'm a content creator. I've been working with Gary Vaynerchuk for the last eight years, working on his personal brand and his team. And yeah, I'm just a content creator, man. Okay, great. So, f- if you would start over right now with the knowledge and everything that you know, what, what is a step-by-step process that you would do? Like, what would you do if you start o- started over? Yeah, if, if I started over right now, I'd probably kind of have a little bit more fun in, in between, you know? Like, I, I took work so seriously, I worked so hard for so long. So I'd probably have a little bit more fun. I'd probably network a little bit better with the people I've met in the past and just maintain relationships better. I'd probably put out even more content on my own personal brand in certain moments where like, I felt like, like I should have done these podcasts years ago. I just only started doing podcasts during COVID and I feel like it might have helped. Hmm. Interesting. So what what are some things, and I'm sure like Gary Vee does a great job at this. What are some things that people don't know that is happening behind the scenes that of course you can say? Of what? Maybe, I don't know, like, I'm not sure what's, uh, what's happening behind, behind the scenes. Uh, no, behind the scenes of what, though? What are you asking? With videography, mm. and like, with Gary Vee's content, the ideas, and, like, things that could, that our, our audience can take from. Because I'm, most of our audience are either business owners or content creators. And since business owners, I think you can agree that they kind of have to create co- if they want, they can create content. Yeah, so. yeah. On, so on on the behind the scenes content creation, I would say that you know a lot of successful companies have CEOs and leaders that do not put out content. I mean, you think about Nike, you think about Amazon. Amazon, Jeff Bezos and you know Phil Knight did not build a personal brand. They were just operators that did the work and they built successful businesses. I think. We live in a time right now where a lot of entrepreneurs can build personal brands. And if you're interested in it, I would say the easiest way to, for any entrepreneur to build a brand is get on podcasts such as this, get on interviews, put out Instagram and TikTok content, make tweets, put out things on LinkedIn, thoughts and feelings and ways that you've operated and are operating your business so that other people can learn from you, right? I think. The biggest misconception about personal brand is just about getting more followers. But for me, personal brand means building a community around the things that you want to communicate around. And I think a lot of people are trying to go too big versus just going tight and small and niche within your own community. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So right now for the business owners that are that want to find more customers or like maybe for agencies that are trying to find more clients, what, what do you think is the best way? To, what should people do to find customers and clients? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of tried and true ways, right? You can do, you know, DMs, cold emails, cold calls, networking within your own, like your own followers. You know, something I tell a lot of people is like, if you have a thousand followers, imagine all thousands of those followers standing in a room in front of you. (laughs) Wow. That's a lot of people. So getting really to know whoever is actually following you and really understanding what they're trying to do in their life. If there's some way that you guys can collaborate. And then also like kind of what you, we, we kind of discussed before getting on podcasts and building out your personal brand does help business development if people believe in how you operate your business. Mm. I would also say that like putting out white papers, like long, long articles about who you are, what your company does, your ethos, all those things are going to help get a new clients. Okay. Interesting. So I don't know if a lot of people are wondering this, but personally, I am wondering this because for people who watch Mr. Beast and Gary Vaynerchuk, then Gary V says like, quantity over quality and mr Beast says like quality over quantity yeah and, and, I, and, I, and I think that's i think that's the beauty of life i think listen there's so many ways to do it right there's so many there's people say that you can build a personal brand and people like phil knight and 
Jeff Bezos did not do that. You know, hmm, okay. I think there's so many people like Gary Vaynerchuk and, you know, other entrepreneurs have. And I think there's so many different ways to do it. I think that it, why we say volume over everything is because volume is marketing. The amount of content, we are marketing. We are not a personal brand. You know, Gary V has a personal brand, but what we're doing his personal brand for is to gain insights and learnings so that he can tell what his clients want to do. So we're doing it a little bit different because we're here to, we're doing volume to build our brand, yes, but also to learn on how to properly market. I think that a lot of people think that you make one 30 second ad for the Super Bowl and then your whole business changes. You know, I think a lot of times if you do look at a Super Bowl piece, it is the most watched commercial ever. But if you think of any other commercials in the world, everyone's fast forwarding and skipping them. So I think, you know, we're, we're a marketing machine. And so we tell our clients like Budweiser and Pepsi and all the other clients we have, you don't work. Why we want to do volume is because that's actually how you market. You know, Nike means different things in different people all around the world. Nike is a kid in Africa is a, a ball gift that no, that's their prized possession. Nike to the, uh, the kid on the Upper East Side in Manhattan, it means very different things, you know? They're getting a $5,000 sneaker with Nike on it. The kid in Africa is getting a ball with a Nike swoosh on it. Like, two very different markets that you got to approach. So that's why we believe in, in volume of content. Yes, the, the context plays a role. Like, the, the, the reason why why Gary V says it to, to which audience and to which audience like Mr. Beast is referring to right. is two different places. And, and you got to think about it. Mr. Beast did do a lot of volume to get there. To get to where he got to, he put out a bunch of content, but he also like was more strategic about his thumbnail and his YouTube like videos and his titles. Like we've had several calls with him because he was like talking about YouTube to us and he knows a lot about how a YouTube algorithm works, but that's where the majority of his business is. We are on every platform bumping out 150 to 200 pieces of content a day to market and get more attention and more awareness and to gain more learning to, again, help clients in the future know how to market, you know? Yeah. So what I have done that I think will provide value to you and to my audience with my clients is that I have taken a little bit of context. I have taken like my client, our future from 200 to over 240,000 subscribers in the first, in five months, in the first five months. And I think the reason, the, the way I did this is I SEO optimized the video. So I think like putting tags in the videos. I'm making sure that they're relevant and like that has to do with the video will help the, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of tactic things that you can do. And I think that's the point of like either hiring someone like you or hiring agencies or hiring, you know, people that do that type of work is important. I think what we've spent such a big, what I've spent the last eight and a half years working with Gary on is learning how to build brand and also learning how to, I'm sorry, learning how to make art but also knowing the science behind the art. We know every day at 4.30, Team Gary, the 20 of us, would meet in a room, go over the content that we put out yesterday, see what performed, overperformed, and underperformed. If it overperformed, we tried, okay, we got to make this for every platform now. And like, how do we make it contextual to every platform? If it underperformed, we were like, wait a minute, how... We thought the message was good. Let's try to remake that again in a different way and see if it performs better. And we'll keep doing that. And if it doesn't work out, then we'll just keep moving on. But what we've learned a lot is like the math and the art. They play a big role in how we market. Interesting. So don't you think in a perspective of like money and committed fan base, don't you think that short-term short form content is overrated because I think you can make more money and build a stronger fan base where like on YouTube, on a podcast. I do, not, like I do not, I do not agree. I think that there are thousands of kids every week on TikTok 
who are exploding off of short form content that are making plenty of money. And a lot of companies and a lot of executives and a lot of nip brands are making tons of money off of short form content. I mean, look at IG Reels. If you look at IGTV right now, IG Reels are overperforming. If you look at YouTube right now, YouTube shorts are overperforming. I think that what you're asking about is like, hey, if you put out a longer form piece of content, you can monetize your audience because you get the, the ads and everything, right? Or what are you saying? I'm saying that, yes, like on, on Reels and TikTok videos, there is that uh, organic reach. But I think like if you put your time, let's say on a 10 minute video on YouTube, or it could be maybe on Spotify, like a 30 minute podcast, you can make more money. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, listen, I, I think, yeah. I think you're like, you're trying to like get to somewhere. I don't, I don't agree because right now when a platform has natural organic reach, like TikTok or YouTube shorts or IG reels right now does. You know, again, like, if we were talking two months ago, I mean, two years ago, it was IGTV. I would have said the long-form IGTV wasn't the thing that was working on Instagram. Right now, we're in a moment of TikTok, YouTube Shorts, and IG Reels that are overperforming. And when you have natural organic reach, you should go all in on that because that's what ultimately helps you get more followers and more awareness. And then, I would say, have the longer-form pieces of content on your channel because that will then allow you to build a stronger, deeper relationship with your audience. So I'm okay. in the camp of both. Like, listen, I've made five second videos and I made a seven hour vlog before. So I've made everything in between <laughs> as well. And so we, I believe in everything. Yeah. I think that that vlog of Gary Vee, that was like, I don't know, 16 hours. That was crazy. Yeah, it was, it, was a, it was seven hours. It was a long one. It was a long one. Yeah, I think I thought it was the one like two, two, three, two years ago, three years ago, where you were in another country. I'm not sure where you were. Yeah, it was Singapore, I think. Yeah, yeah that was that was crazy. So, what's uh, before you go? One one last question, if you can do it. Do you have yeah. time for one more question? Hold on one second. Yep, I do. One more question. Go ahead. Okay. What, what do you think? Content creators and like, if you could leave them with one message, content creators or business owners or some uh, people, maybe videographers or someone that doing that is doing what you're doing, what would you give them? Like one piece of advice. Someone who follows somebody else around. Yes, no, or who's a content idea. creator. Yes, or videographer. Yeah. Yeah, listen, I think, you know, people that look up to Gary Vee right now, you know, I've been with him now eight years. And so over the course of eight years, we put out thousands, tens of thousands of videos and we built Gary's brand to a big brand, right? But it took eight years. And then before I met Gary, Gary had done five years of wine videos every single day. So that's eight plus five is 13 years. I would say to any content creator right now, if you're starting something, whether it be a podcast like what you're doing, or you're starting a video show or anything, you got to give it time. It's not going to happen in a year, two, three. It might. You might get lucky with one viral video that changes your life, but this is a really long game process. So I would say wait 13 years until you get what you want, you know? And then I would say build, build deeper community with, whoever is following you with you. Too many people, they look at the vanity numbers and you don't spend enough time on their core audience and that's where they fuck up. Yes. And I think lack of, uh, lack of self-confidence makes them think in the short term of like, Hey, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be successful in like 10 years. So I'd rather make some money now and just retire and I don't know. Well, do that's nothing. why, yeah, but just retire. That means you don't love your process. Like, and that's the problem. Listen, I am not trying to retire soon. I, I want to work for the next. 50, 60 years of my life, I think that's where people have misconception. Retire and do what? What are you going to do when you retire? You know, like, come on. People are, people are <laughs> wanting the quick cash because they're insecure and they want to show off. People want the quick cash because they're lazy and they don't want to work. People want the quick cash. All the people are going to fail and there'll be a few people that won't, but 
It's just not about that. It's about loving your process and loving the game of it, you know? Yeah. Amazing. So thank you for coming on with your work. I really enjoyed it. Of course. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye. Thank you.